with with COVID or with Ukraine, people might disagree with what the UK government did throughout that period. But the, but what they all know is they didn't plan to have COVID. This came out of nowhere, and they had to react to it. So there's always a level of not sympathy, but understanding that you couldn't get it all right. What they did this week was entirely their own decision for no good reason. And the reason they do stuff like this is they belong to a very, very small group within the Tory party that is highly influential, that are effectively libertarians, who all they ever want to do is just cut taxes for rich people. That is their one thing that they're obsessed with. Now, obviously, Tories on the whole always look to lower the tax base. That's what they kind of, that is an ideological position. But most of them will say, including, I mean, look at the effect that even the Tory party is saying, don't do this now. Even Tories obsessed with tax cuts are going, what are you doing? Because you cut taxes when you can. You don't do it at a time when it's irresponsible. And the markets that the Tories are meant to be the party of think this is appalling. Their own supporters think it's mad. The effect of it, it I mean, the, if this carries on, this sort of currency crisis, the effect that it will have on people's lives, and it's not just about looking at a graph and going, oh, that looks shit. Oh, it's gone down, so they're bad. This is people's mortgages. This is people losing their homes, losing their jobs, not being able to afford to heat their home. This is as bad as it gets. And they did it for, they didn't have to, do, they weren't reacting to a crisis. This was ideological at the wrong time. And I don't think people will forgive them for it. I think it was just completely indulgent. And I don't think they look like they're in control at 